The leadership of Nigeria's labor union has tasked the federal government to keep its own side of the bargain and produce palliatives that will reduce the suffering of citizens following the recent removal of petrol subsidy. This was as they met with the leadership of Nigeria's Senate, accusing government of not doing enough for Nigerians. Our correspondent, Amadin Uyi, tells us more. The meeting was called by the president of the Senate and had representatives of Nigeria's workers' unions in attendance. The president of the Senate appealed to the union to support the removal of petrol subsidy, saying it is strangulating the country. I'm pleading with you to bear with this administration that is less than two months old, to work together to put Nigeria on a path of progress. Subsidy, if we had left it, subsidy was killing Nigeria, Subsidy was capable of killing Nigeria. Subsidy will eventually have killed Nigeria. You have decided to allow Nigeria to breathe, that subsidy should go. We concur with your decision, that Nigerians must breathe. He took time to clear the air on the proposed 70 billion naira recently earmarked for the National Assembly, refuting widely reported claims on social media that the fund was set aside for lawmakers as part of four subsidy palliatives from government. The 70 billion was uh, earmarked for, you've seen the structures going on and everything. When this 10th Senate came and the 10th National Assembly, they had nothing to work with, computers, nothing, even vehicles, nothing. You can't do oversight function with Kekena Pep. So that money is not meant for senators. But you can see the mischief of Nigerians and what the social media can do. They turn things around to make it look as if the 70 billion was palliative for uh, senators and House of Rep members. For me, I don't believe in running government on pages of newspapers. The Labour leaders informed the Senate leadership of the situation with workers, saying the hardship has become unbearable. People are suffering in the country. It's like PMS is at the center of economic activities in the country. And any time it is touched, every other aspect is affected. It has never been touched like this before. The first and the second punch without anything on ground. Our members are clearly suffering. Nigerians are clearly suffering. Uh, some people trek to work today. They say the union has done its part since the beginning of the impasse over the fuel subsidy removal and urged government to fulfill its own part of the bargain. The labor movement, unlike before, didn't go into the issue of reduce one naira or reduce two naira. We felt we should think outside the box. Because from 1970 to date, when they increase it, level protests goes on strike, they reduce the price, probably with 15 naira or 100 naira. But this time around, we felt we cannot continue that way. We have to think outside the box. That was what necessitated coming up with alternatives. And we resolved, since we're already working on the CNG option since 2020. Before now, the modus operandi of labor has been quite different. Uh, but we said, OK, the government has told us that they are going to create alternatives. The government told us that they are going to bring about palliatives. We said, OK, let us listen and let us even watch these palliatives and these alternatives. Maybe it could be better. Though the federal government has continued to assure that it will do all it can to assuage the sufferings of citizens, labor is urging government to match its words with action. Amadine Uyi, reporting for News Central.